Hey everyone, it's Monkey1000 and today we go gone camping for Valentine's Day. Didn't we babe? Yep. Yeah. Happy Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. So we got everything set up. I didn't do the process thing because they got the, we've been here before and this is where Shea Bear is. Hopefully you can see them over there fishing. Or and uh, we've been here before, but they changed things around. You could bring up your car you used to be able to with your tent. And now they got it blocked off where you can't do that anymore. So we brought our cart so we could bring our stuff to the camp. And I must have did, what, eight, eight trips back and forth. So, yeah, at least. So that's kind of a pain, but I understand why they do it too. Is I think it's because they were having problems with the land. It gets all wet. <laughs> mm -hmm. They won't allow RVs in here anymore. So, I mean, it's quieter. Now, they put RVs up in the front, but they don't have as many um, sites for them as they used to because they would take up the good ones over here. And, you know, it was a fight to get here. It's first come, first serve. So, anyways. So, I like it here because I like being on the water. We did bring our boat. Hopefully you can see where the boat is over there. <laughs> because the sun's in my eyes, so I can't barely see anything. So, yeah. There's the boat. So, we're going to go boating and fishing and... We're going to be here. I'm going to be here for tonight and half a day tomorrow. And then I'll go home and he's going to do a solo camp here by himself. And then I'll come back and pick him up. So that's our plan. And Bruno's over there <coughs> laying down, enjoying it. He's so content when he comes out here. He loves it. He really does. He really likes it. It got warm today. It's it's quite warm. But it was cool last night, so I don't know what the temperature tonight will be. But we're prepared. Just in case it gets too cold, we can warm up. <coughs> so, we'll be fine. I think, I think it'll be warmer tonight than it was last night. So, anyways, we're going to do some fishing. Did you catch something? No, I had a good Did you? Yeah, I haven't started yet. I'm just resting. Right. Yeah. So I just needed a rest from going back and forth so much. So, um, but I'm glad we had that cart because can you imagine trying to haul that stuff by hand? No, we would have put it in the boat. Yeah, that would have been a better idea. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I dropped him off at the ramp and he got in the boat and drove the boat over here to to have it by the water here. So we were going to go over by the dock where he did his solo camping that one time, but there's a couple people over there. And one's got music real loud, and I didn't want him get monet, you know, not being able to be monetized. So and they might give him a hot fuss. So. And there was another guy. He was okay. He was an older guy. But, and then the fire pit was big. It was a big, huge one, but it had junk in it. It was terrible. Yeah, trash. Somebody put trash in it. You know, people people don't think about others. They only think about themselves. And, you know, if they clean up their messes after themselves, then people, you know, can enjoy it for the next person. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. So, so we came down this way. Ah, Bruno, Bruno hears somebody. So, anyways, he's barking because somebody's walking by. Stop it! Don't bark at me! For, stop! Behave! <laughs> so, anyways, I'm gonna rest for a few minutes. Maybe try to do some fishing, and then. Uh, We'll see what happens. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I've had quite a few bites. Um, trying to get closer to the mic. And, uh, but 
that's it. That's all I've gotten so far. Shea Bear's getting a few too, but he's not getting this any any fish. There's a bird over there across the way. I don't know if you guys can see it. He's sitting in there in the grass. Marsh over there. Pecking at something. Every once in a while I'll see a, a fish hop up and down. And, uh, yeah. So, there's the boat over there. Got it going. Shea Bear went over there to the next campsite. They left over that way. He went. So he's fishing over there right now. He couldn't get no bites really, really over here. He's trying to get a fish for dinner. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Get some kind of fish for dinner. It's pretty out here. I love, I love coming here, but that's ridiculous having to go back and forth with your stuff. See that bird? I don't know if you guys saw it or not. So, trying to find the bird in the camera. Seen it or not? Probably not. I don't think you are. Let's see there. It's very quiet here today, but it's during the week, so that's probably why. Put Bruno in the tent. You see he's barking, so. Anyways, if I get a fish, I'll let you know. We'll be back. Just like that. That's no joke. That's what they left there, so. Huh. Yeah. So, I was getting bit by something a little while ago. Couldn't tell what it was. And I said, must be them no sims The monkey said, yeah, because I seen one. <laughs> Woom went right past me, she said. They've been biting me too. That's why I put my shirt on. <laughs> They were getting me bad. Somebody in here. Oh god. What the heck? Well probably for you know, barbecue meat or something. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. For basting or whatever. This is what we cut up a little bit ago, but uh, it's not seasoned, it's not, I mean, I think it must have been alive when they cut it down. So we'll put that on later. Fish are biting though. Yeah. It's just not the big ones yet. No. I keep getting nibbles, but nothing great. They're just not big enough to get the hook in your mouth. Yeah. That'll change long about dusk. All right, I'm gonna get this fire going. Well, it's going. I'm just gonna get some more stuff to put on it, and I'll be back with you guys. And my camera was crooked again. And it's son of a. So I had to change it over there. Mm -hmm.
that nice hatchet that they gave me. Which is good for smaller stuff. Just not good for chopping. One Brian and Marla gave me a little hatch and probably cut that. Yeah. Yeah, but this is pine. I don't want to get sap all over. That's good. Are you filming? No. You liar? <laughs> cut this but I don't want to get sap all over it. I know. You know I use it for hardwoods. Yeah. Do I do this without cutting off a limb or a digit? Can you help? No, I don't want you near this. <laughs> <laughs> you rolling? Might want to spin around there. Why? I can't get that. That one bunch is going to fall somewhere. Yeah, that's a little bunch. I mean, there must have been 150 birds. I know, that was something, wasn't there it? There was four formations. That was cool.
Uh-oh. Well, I'm not supposed to be cutting stuff with this. No. This not this big. No. This is just a pruning saw. Right. Okay guys, story time. Story time. Now, once again, this is a tr <sighs> What the hell? The strings on the rip of my jeans. Oh my god. It felt like something running across my hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, Alright, it's a true story. This is going back about... About 1993, 94-ish, right in there. Me and a buddy of mine was deer hunting on my grandmother's farm, you know. It's 63 acres. I mm -hmm. told him, you know, about that. I grew up around there. And uh, so, first day of deer season, we got up in our stands, you know, bright and early, you know, right, right before dawn. And He's up on this knoll. I'm down in the lower 40 acres, so I'm down like way down in a gully, like. And he's up on this ridge, right? And he's looking out over. There's a. Uh, he's about 100 yards from the line fence, which on the other side of that line fence was a big old open field. And just on this side of the line fence was a, a thicket of, of a couple acres of pine trees. And then as he was looking out, the pine trees would be on his left. And if he looked this way, there was a small open field, about an acre and a half. And then off to his right, there was another where the well was. There was about another acre of wide open land. Of course, you didn't shoot in that direction. But it didn't have to. We knew where the deer were running. So I was down below, so he was hoping, you know, that the hunters from over in that area would drive them to him. And if he missed or whatever, you know, other hunters down. Because where I was, I was about 200 yards from a line fence, which was another open field. It was never mowed or anything like the other one. But hunters would drive them down, down over, because I was like down in a valley like this in my stand. So I could see him coming this way, this way, all four directions, and he could see him coming all four directions. So that morning, you know, he uh, 
he saw a couple we let them go by because it was first day you know they were does and just you know your non-typical rack bucks smaller bucks so um he let like three go and i let like three go so we we converged about noon time and i went down to the camper had a camper down in there and uh, we had lunch and everything and so all right we're gonna head back up we replenished our pockets with our snacks and our beef jerkies and you know cold snacks <laughs> but uh so you know so we had up because we walked up the same little logging road and then he would go to the to the left and he would be up in there about three-fourths of a mile and I would go to the right and then a, a slight left down and then around down into the bottom where I was at so it was about a mile and a half from each other right and we're getting up in there and it's we saw some more deer but again you know it was the first day they, they were running I mean we saw a bunch and there was all kinds of shooting around us people were getting deers so but we knew there was there was a couple 12 pointers and there was a 16 pointer out there that, that I had hunt, hunted for I don't know like two years this was my third year on him a bunch of other people around the area there you know it was all hunting and they they had all seen him too because he would travel back and forth and he cut through our our land because we was kind of like surrounded like from Route 40 and 265 and then a few miles uh, off off of our property was the highway and so it was Highway 77 so so we was kind of you know pretty good hunting so we knew you know I mean we we never we would hunt all week but we always had our deer within the first two days one or t first day or second day and then we would go out and you know drive for other people and for those of you guys that don't know driving is like you know like you have walkers and then you have standers the standers will either be in a stand or you know sitting down on a log or whatever like up on a knoll or whatever or down in a valley vice versa and then we would start at the other end of the property like five or six of us and we would spread out and we'd walk through just making all kinds of racket talking and joking and if there were any deer they'll jump up and they'll run up towards them so that's why we call driving them mm -hmm. kind of like an old cattle drive you know um, but so anyway so this is the first day and it's getting long about dusk and I'm sure he was ready for a beer as much as I was and I was sitting here so I'm like alright so uh, you know I unloaded my shotgun and put my shells away and out of the corner of my left which that's about where Dave called him Dupe Dupre oh Dupe so Dave he was you know would have been up on the knoll like I said about a mile and a half like to my left from where I was looking at my stand I can I could look almost 360 degrees you know the way I had it on the tree you know because I could go you know all the way around almost and he was the same way but so I heard something and think anything of it I thought well Dave's probably on his way down to meet me which usually we met on top of the hill about the same time and so like I said it's about dusk you can still see good you know I mean we never stayed till dark because well you know walking around the woods with shotgun with slugs you know not a good idea after dark so you know so it's about dusk time like I said I'm getting ready I'm just getting ready to get down out of my stand I figure well I'm gonna finish my cigarette you know I'll get down I'll go meet Duke and every time I tell a story my fire goes out uh. so like I said, I heard a noise again. I thought, reached in my pocket, and because I, you know, our vest and stuff would have, you know, places for your shells, real easy to get to. So I pulled one out, and I'm sitting there, I'm just waiting, and I hear it again. So this time, you know, it was a Mossberg 500, and so I put, I put that shell up in the bottom of the gun, and I pulled it back as easy as I could and I chambered it of course I'm still on safety I'm thinking a deer's coming
monkeys over here going. And I'm over here telling you what monkey's doing and I'm not even rolling yet. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to my people. I'm not rolling. Mm -hmm. right. You good? Yep. In frame and all that? Yep. Ready? We're happy. Ready? Yep. Okay, sorry about that. I just went ahead and made some room on this card. I brought some extra cards. I'm running 4K, so it doesn't last that long. And I had trouble starting out today with my intro. And <laughs> but and Mine went out the same time yours did. <laughs> well, I was still rolling. Now. I still have four minutes left. Her battery just went dead. So I had to wait on her to change her battery, put Bruno to bed, because that really... Ugh. When he's <laughs> looking behind me like that, I don't like that. Yeah. So anyway, so as I was saying, you know, this, this is about three feet tall-ish, about a foot and a half wide, you know, kind of like, I wouldn't say cylindrical, but it wasn't square by any means. Uh, it was like a mist. And I'm not talking about fog rolling in, guys. I'm talking about this thing was like moving really slow, like hovering. But at the same time, I heard footprints. As soon as I seen it, I heard like footsteps. I heard footprints. Watch a YouTube show <laughs> last night and a woman kept saying she heard footprints. Mm -hmm. And I guess that stuck in my head. So I heard these, kept hearing these footsteps and, and you know, by this time I'm starting, you know, well, well you got a 12 gauge, what are you going to shoot? You know, it's a mist. It's like a fog, but like I said, it was like, and it was like undulating. You guys don't know how many years I've been waiting to use that word on YouTube. <laughs> but it was. It was like undulating, right? And it was just slowly moving. And as it went by me, I could hear footsteps. And just when it got to the right of me, it just dissipated. Just, you know, like smoke from a cigarette. It just kind of went. And just disappeared and the foot, the foot step stopped. This time, I, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I, I'll be the first to admit, well, I, I'm sure I'm not the first, but I will admit to you guys, you know, sometimes I get spooked in the woods, and that spooked me, and, and I was on the verge of being frightened, but I, I mean, I can't say that I was scared, but I wasn't e at ease by any means. I was, you know, I, uh, yeah, I was really uneasy, so I got down out of there pretty quick, and I... And I, I went up, and I just made the top of the hill. There's a big oak tree, huge, man, huge oak tree, top of this hill. And so as soon as I come out of there at that oak tree onto the logging road where Dave was at, and here come Dave just waddling pretty much as fast as he could without running. He was out of breath. He said, you ain't going to believe what I just saw. And I said, let me guess. You saw a weird mist, and it was leaving footsteps right and his eyes got to spin around how do you know i said oh, I, I seen it too you know i'm trying to be cool right <laughs> yeah i seen it too you know like like i see it all the time or something he's like how can you be so calm about it i said dave i'm not i am pretty much almost on the verge of being frightened he said well let's get the hell out of here so we got the hell out of there and back to camper and we talked about it for a little bit and by a little bit I mean till like midnight one o'clock <laughs> and he saw it so it came past him he said it came out of that field of the neighbor's field mm -hmm. he said he just he happened to hear he did the same thing I only mean, he was still loaded yet at this time you know so it, which I would have been too he was still loaded up and he, but he was getting ready to come down and meet me at the oak tree and uh, he said just out of the corner of his eye he saw something you know when he was getting his stuff ready and and uh, after he heard them footsteps and so you know he's thinking deer you know but out of the corner of his eye and when he saw it and he, he said that's he said he noticed as it got closer so did the footsteps and he he said he he said a guy, and I believe a guy, I mean, we both can't make up the same damn story, right? Right. And, but he said it got, it got within about 10 yards of him. So, that's about 30 feet, you know. Now, it didn't get that close to me. I would say it probably got about 35, maybe 40 feet, but it was pretty, 
you know, 30 feet's not that far when you're out in the woods. It's not that far away. Right. Um, I never, I never seen it before. Then I had some weird stuff. I got other stories about about that property, but I never seen it before then. And I grew up out there my whole life, you know. And, and I never seen it after that. Um, he didn't either. Um, next day we both got our deer, but we was uneasy going up into the woods, and neither one of us said anything each other about it it's just one of those things you know you know he was uneasy and I was uneasy huh. um, but we never and, and we never talked about it after that um, we told a couple of our close friends you know that knew you know that we knew would make fun of us and, and would believe us um, and they said they had something similar happen on a guy's property about four miles from there the year before um, he said when he said when I say similar I mean it was pretty much the same only his was more his was more round and it wasn't quite as big and he did it didn't get as close but he did see something similar to that long about dusk and he heard the footsteps too so that's my story for tonight <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that one because like I said uh, that's true now it, now if I'm going to tell you a fabricated story I'll tell you look you know I'm, I'm totally making this up but these stories I tell you like this um, I've got a lot of them and um, these are all true they're true stories it's like when you know when I got in a fight with a deer uh, yeah that was a true story that really happened I got my ass kicked by a deer <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah that um, but <laughs> It's giving me chills thinking about that, you know. But yeah, that's what I'm talking to her camera too. I'm not ignoring you guys, and I'm not ignoring you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Yep. And I will have another one for you guys tomorrow night because I'm staying out here tomorrow night too. You are. Yeah, I am. Monkey's going back, but I'm gonna stay out here now. Now I'm gonna psych myself out in the morning. I'm gonna be out here by myself. Because there's several acres back through there before it gets to the woods, and, and there's nobody back in there. Nope. We're the first ones that something's going to get if it comes out of the woods at us. Yep. <laughs> well, we did have people beside us, and they left. Yeah, yeah, they left. They packed up and left. But, so, anyway, guys, I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you guys later. Bye, Shea Bear. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening to my story. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey everyone, this is Monkey, and we are at the second day of camping. Haven't been up too long. We were up, and then we were. Uh, then Bruno got sick, so that didn't work out too good. But <clears throat> then we went back to sleep. So now it's after 10 o'clock. I think it's almost 10:30. <coughs> I'm up. He's still asleep. So, there's a bunch of kayakers that come in here in their club, and uh, they're getting ready to put their boats in, and so as soon as they do, I'm going to turn you on and show you. There's one way out there, I don't know if you guys can see them or not, they're kind of drifting around. There's a couple that already came in, and uh, I think they're just waiting for the other ones, and... They're on the land over here. You can see a person moving over there. So they're all be on those trees over there. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to kick you on when they come out in the water. Because it looks it's really nice to see them out here. They come out here, I think, once a week or something like that. So, anyways, stay tuned. <coughs> Sorry for the wind. It's really windy. Hopefully you can hear me. There's a guy. He's just boating. Yeah. He wasn't a kayaker. Look at the birds coming. Gorgeous. I might have to turn the sound down on this because it's really windy. Cool. Look at that.
I like it here. It's so pretty. It really is gorgeous here. And it's supposed to be a nice day. It's supposed to get up to 85 today, I guess. So it's going to be a nice day. It was chilly last night, though. I was cold. <coughs> so, anyways, we'll be back. There's one right there, kayaker. They're starting to come out. Sometimes they'll all come out together, but here they come. They come one at a time here. right there. You can see her. Just waiting for the other ones to come out. They're slow. They're all retired people, you know. Yeah. So. Have you zoomed in too far? You can't see it. <coughs> Anyways. Windy, windy, windy. I'm trying to make some boiling water here over the stove. I think I'm going to have more ash for coffee than I am coffee. <coughs> Not much I can do about it. Part of camping, I guess. I don't know what they're doing over here. They're... One girl came out and she's gone. <coughs> There's a spring down here that they go in. I'd love to go see it, but you can only go by kayak. <coughs> it's very, very shallow. Our boat would never make it. We tried once when the water was up, but we couldn't go all that all the way. A lot of trees down and stuff, so it makes it hard. But I would like to see it. It would be pretty neat that we have a spring here, and <coughs> nobody really knows. It's kind of like a secret. So if you're from here, you kind of know it. Not everybody. So here they come out. There they go. <laughs> They're friendly enough, anyways. <clears throat> and there they go. Off they go. There they go, down the river. <coughs> I'd like to try a kayak, but I don't have very good balance, so I don't know how well I would do. <coughs> Shaber, I said, well, you're having your own. I'm not doing a double. <laughs> so. I think I'll be all right getting in it. It's getting out of it that I have trouble. <coughs> My family's full of arthritis. That's our biggest thing in our family, so as I get older, I might be getting arthritis. In fact, I have a cousin that's 20 years old, and she has arthritis, so it <clears throat> doesn't discriminate on age, that's for sure. Not in our family. So I think it's kind of getting in me a bit. There they go. Anyways, I thought that was cool, seeing kayakers in here. I don't know where the other ones went. There was another group that was in here earlier. And I didn't have the camera. So, it is just gorgeous. This morning when I came out, <coughs> um, it was like fog all over the, all over the uh, water. It was really cool looking. But I was so cold, I just wanted to go back to bed. So I didn't get a picture of it. I wish I had, because it was really cool. Anyways, I'm going to try to do something with this coffee water here. <laughs> or ash water, whatever you want to call it. 
and uh, sit back and relax for a little bit. We're the only campers here. Everybody's gone. Everybody's left. These are just locals that bring their kayaks here. So, yeah, we're all alone. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Windy, though. All right. I'll kick you on in a little bit. Okay, guys, we're going boating. I gotta yell because it's windy, but I, I put the mic on just to help with the wind a little bit. So, here we go. Okay guys, so 
Shaver's been having trouble fishing. Everything keeps going in the tree. So he says he's going over to the tree to capture his stuff he lost. So here he is in the boat. Let's see if I can get you better. And uh, yeah. So I told him I was going to film it just in case something happened. Don't you was kidding? No. I got extra clothes if you get wet. So we'll come over here. He keeps casting and the wind is just blowing it right into this tree over here, so he's getting upset. And he's losing his stuff because of it. I saw something else in here this morning that was red or something. Yeah, there's a bobber up there. Yeah. I'm not the only one. No, you're not the only one. <laughs> so we figure I better film this. No, you figure. Yeah. I figure. Yeah, see? The unbalance. Oh, there goes the boat. He hates that trawler. Trawler Yeah, he hates it. We had a really good one on a GNU, and we sold it when we sold the GNU. And this one just sucks. Oh, I see the bobber in the water. Yeah, there's a bobber down there. Yeah. So I think this happens quite often. Creaking. Well, so the boat is creaking. So how many did you lose? Three, I think. Three. One. Yep. There's one. Those things are, you know, they were running low on, on the weight, so he wants to save them if he can. Alright. That's what got this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's not mine, that's a braided mine. Mine come on a film. Huh. But I got it back. Yeah. Now, where'd the other one go? Over here? I have no idea. One's way up there. Mine? Yeah, I think so. It's way up there. <coughs> I can barely see the shine of it. Yeah, I see it right there. I don't think you can even reach it. Just see that one. I don't know what this tree is, but it's got a shitload of sap. Does it? Yeah. See, there's one right here in front of me. That could have been your third one. Where? Right here in front of me. You have to put the boat in between in here if you could. I don't know if you can reach it. Where? Right there. You see it blowing in the wind? 
You might be at a wrong angle. You can see a hook with bait on it? No, I just see the line. Oh, well. Oh, I see the line, but yeah. where's the hook and shit? I don't know. I don't know if you could pull on that and come down or not. Well, I'd have to find the end of it first. Yeah. Pink bobber. How oh, cute. Pink and purple. That's cute. You guys see one, point it out to us. No, I don't see any more. Well, I got one back. Yeah. It goes to those two branches. This is not mine, but See, there's two there. Yeah. Oh, you're blowing. Yeah. Yeah, you do. This got a minnow on it. Yeah. A dead minnow. Uh. Two of them. This yeah. is quite a rig. Wow. Yeah. 
There you go. Don't make up for the ones you lost. better balance than me, I would have been in the water by now. I know, just get lucky. Oh, wow. Is that a different one? Yeah. Oh, shit. Cool. This is a cable leader. Oh. Oh, you use that junk. Yeah, that's all. If I before I lose, before I use mine. Yeah. That way, if I lose them. Yeah, you don't care. Well, I know where one is, but it's just way too high. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably climb that tree, but then the boat will float away. Yeah, that might not be a good idea. What we should do someday? What? We'll do a scavenger hunt? Yeah. We'll just trawl up and down the things here, looking for bobbers or stuff hanging in the trees. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we'll make a video on it. There you go. So, alright, I'll bring my treasures. I need to get rid of this because I'll get tangled up on this. Doesn't want to break either. No separated line. <coughs> I don't want a bird get tangled up in it or something. No. Cut this off. Except for that one. That's it. What one? That right here. Well, that's just string, though. Well, I don't know. Maybe on the other end, it might be something on it. Yep, as high up as that is, it's probably up in there. Yeah. Yep. Probably. I don't want to bend that big of a bridge. No. Get the tree. No. All right. Um, Bring my treasures up. Yeah, you got some treasures. guys. So he got a couple of things. And he didn't fall. <laughs> Don't sound so disappointed. Well, it would have made a great video. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> but I'm glad you didn't fall. <laughs> Alright guys. We'll be back. Okay. Reel it in, babe. He got a fishy. Fishy, fishy. He Ooh. wasn't pulling or nothing. Damn it, he swallowed the hook. Oh no. He's pretty That's a number he's one. He swallowed the whole hook. Wow. I don't think he's going to survive. Probably not. Which there one? you go, babe. At least you caught one. I didn't get stunk. Nope. You didn't get skunk. Look, Daddy caught a fish. It ain't cooked yet. You gonna eat it? No. It's too small. 
Well, you say he, caught, he got the, the uh, hook, though. You don't think he'll survive. No, but he's too small. Oh. He's pretty, though. That's probably what was eating on our, nibbling on our uh, bait last night with those little things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they would nibble, but they wouldn't latch on. Really got it in there, didn't he? Yeah. Poor thing. Nothing I can do. No. Maybe. Oh, oh there we go. You get it? Yeah. Good. Let's see if he's all right. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, he's good to go. So he can grow the big, big one. He's gone. Oh, good. There he goes. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, I'm glad you got it out. Good. I hate that, but he'd just be too small. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't even be a bite. No. 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 It looks better. Well, I was thinking if he died, <coughs> not not now, but you know, he got it, so that's good. Yeah, but even if he died. It, you might as well be. throw him out there and let the other big fish get him and turtles. Yeah. If he died, because it's not worth right. cleaning it and frying it up. It <laughs> wouldn't be, seriously, it wouldn't be a bite. You know? Well, maybe you'll get something else. You got one. Yay! Got one. Yay! And I didn't film it. <laughs> no, but I did. Speaking well, I so. haven't started my solo yet. So. No, I haven't left yet. It's too, too nice out here to leave. That's all right, but after you leave, I'm going over that cove over there. Oh, yeah? My catfishing cove. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm packing up, and Shaver's going to stay. So I'm taking the stuff that he doesn't need, and he's going to stay the night and do a solo camping so when he gets that up it will probably in a few days so um, you'll have to check out his solo camping so we're going to the car and this is all my stuff and I got the other stuff he's going to put all the stuff that he has in his boat in the boat and then I'm going to meet him at the boat ramp tomorrow afternoon here we go to the car and I'm pulling this thing if we could not have this cart it would have been a pain in the butt to try to get everything over there I mean you car camp you bring lots of stuff you know and uh, that you know we are the only ones left in here today those other cars they're kayakers they just caught park here and they go into the water for the day and they leave. It's like a club. So um, I showed you earlier to this morning that they were getting in the water. So uh, so anyways, I'm going to turn you off so I can get this in the car. I'm getting closer. <laughs> okay, guys. Bruno and I are on our way home. I just got through the gate. Thank goodness I actually got the lock to work this time and when I went in. So it's a brand new lock. So I think a lot of those locks are getting rusty and it won't always read the numbers. That's what I think was going on because I couldn't figure out why can't I do open them. But so anyways, we're on our way home. We'll come back in a little bit. Um, he wants his pillow and he wants a few more sodas, so I I think he's got enough, but he may not, so he likes to have extra just in case. So we'll come back out maybe around seven and we'll check on him, okay? And I'll video it. See if he caught any fish too. He says he wants all he wants to do is fish. I said, okay, just go fish. <laughs> so we'll be back in a little bit. Oh, and as the sunset. Ah.
Okay guys, so I'm back at the camp with Shaber and he's doing his solo camping. I brought him a few more things and I took a lot of stuff home. So he, the rest of it's going to go on the boat and then I'll meet him at the uh, boat ramp tomorrow. He is the only one in here back here. There's one other person, and they're up, up where the RVs, where we showed you the RVs were. So he is completely alone. Yep. So, well, that's good. You got some fishing going on. Hopefully, you catch something. Oh, I forgot the wood. Don't worry about that. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no. I told you. I said if you do, you do. If you don't, that's fine. I totally too. forgot. I, it. I don't care. That's fine. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so, anyways. I just started that right before you came. Did you? I dug down in deep and found one a little cold. <laughs> so I grabbed my camera, put yeah. the screen up, point it down, get set up, and I'm like, check this out, guys. Yeah. So, you know, because beforehand I grabbed a bunch of these palm frond things. And right. Whew, I was like, that's how you build a fire. And if I would have turned the record button on, mm -hmm. I didn't have it recording. Oh, no. no. I was like, check this out, because I, I was so proud, you know, that fire we had last night, still in ton tonight at 7.30, yeah. you know. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. And I dug down and found one little coal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. About the size of an oak. <laughs> Aww. And set the camera up, I'm hurrying, you know, tripping right. out of this log, you know. Because I, I was like, you know, I want people to see that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a shame. When you get something good, and then you forget to turn the thing on. I've had two more episodes with the tree. Oh, no. Yeah. When are you going to learn? Oh, I learned, because I trimmed that tree back. See all them branches laying there? I guess you got a little see bit of... laying right there? Yeah. Hey. Got got a little bit of firewood going on then. Yeah, but here's what happened. <laughs> right? Uh, I fished over there and then I went over that little memorial. Yeah. And fished there. They were starting to bite and but I was starting to get e eaten up by mosquitoes, so I, I left this here. Oh. So I just came back. Mm-hmm. First cast, right in the tree. Oh man. So this time I just immediately got in the boat with my machete, went over and I rescued the stuff. And I thought, ah, this ain't happening again. So I trimmed them back. And I came back, got out of the boat, got set up, cast again. One branch I did not trim. And you hit it. First cast, yep. <laughs> so I went and trimmed all I could reach. Aww. Oh, wow. Well. It's like, man, I haven't thrown any of that because, you know, I was pretty frustrated. And I said, oh, geez, man, darn it. <laughs> That's how upset I was. Yeah. <laughs> well, it bites you too many times. You got to do something. And really, you know, you're saving somebody else that comes out here trying to fish. <clears throat> yeah, it won't hurt them trees to trim them. No, they need to be trimmed to make them healthy. Yeah, I didn't break the branches off. I cut them with the machete. So right. The clean cuts. It's fine. Yeah. So. Well, and that's your good. Your haters hear that, you know. Oh my God, he's out there ripping them branches. I didn't rip them down. No. I cut them with a machete. Mm. So. But, Anyways. Yeah, the one branch. Hmm. Come back, first cast, right in that one branch I did not turn. Is that all the wood? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to do some of that stuff. Yeah, I'd keep it going. I'll probably call it an early night tonight. I'm tired. Fish ain't biting. I'm tired. I just ate. Did you? Just Good. Ate, yeah. I didn't eat yet. I'll eat when I get back. I ate my sausages tonight <laughs> with my noodles. Oh, did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, I can't wait. I love them things. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not hungry, that's the important thing. I'm not hungry, Mom. I still got my meat sticks in there. Mm -hmm. And I gave you those potato chip things. Yeah. I'm fine. I still got food. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you can watch your movie. Yeah. And what time do you want me to come meet you? Noon. Okay. All right. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to stay here for a few minutes and then I'm going home because I got to eat too. I haven't eaten nothing. So I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check out Shea Bear 1000's videos that he'll have up when he gets home in a day or day. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. A day or two or a week. <laughs> that ain't sounding good for me. I'm going to try to work on mine tonight. So anyways, if I, if I can. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, hope you enjoy the videos. I'm Monkey Stitches out. Say bye, Shaver. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs>